So what do you think? Do you all want to start your own? We live in a selfie society these okay. days, but artist Ursula Golo prefers a more low-tech method of capturing the person you see today. We're doing self-portraits. If you want to do some of your hair in there, you can. Just whatever. Ooh, these are going to be so cool. Sitting down with Asheville Art Museum visitors. These markers are awesome. Is a step on her journey of self-reflection. With each passing day, you start to see little changes <laughs> happening and probably in the way you wouldn't normally. Gullo thinks we should all look at ourselves more often and not in a critical way. I've started doing this more interactive experience because I've wanted to explore the boundaries of self-portraiture. These are the many faces of Ursula. In 2013, she started a project she may never finish. A lot of times I don't even, this is gonna sound odd, but I don't actually see my face anymore. The AB Tech art instructor asked her students to do a self-portrait, so she decided to take on the challenge herself. So it was really awkward and um, challenging and kind of fun. 80 of her portraits are now on display, part of the Appalachia Now exhibit. They were created with paint, markers, charcoal, and collage. The one constant is Ursula. And I think I did it again the next day, and then at some point I just realized that it would be a really great practice to try to do every day. She did miss a few days, but Ursula's captured most of the past six years of her life. I've calculated I have around 2,300. She made it a point to change up the background. Looking in the mirror, I'm the model as much as the creator. So I'm always moving, and that's a fun challenge. Each one takes an average of 20 minutes. All of them are dated with a start and finish time. It's really important to me that I'm looking at a live image of myself and not at a photograph. Red-nosed so. Ursula brings back a chilling memory. <laughs> that is one of my favorites. Um, I think that was when I lived in my old apartment and I had a studio and it was very cold. There's one that piece in our art studio. Also, so that's my studio. Her husband Jason also makes a cameo. Part of the challenge is embracing who you are without judgment. In fact, often people question why I'm not presenting myself a little more, uh, you know, um, Perfect, I guess. Do you have any black? At public appearances, she makes composite portraits with the help of strangers. What they come up with gives them a unique sense of self. Interesting. And I had never thought about, about the nose. way that my nose was structured. You have a very pretty nose, and by she, the way. Well, thank so. you. <laughs> In Asheville. Because I had never thought about the way my face was put together. John Lee, News 13.